Hi, everyone. It's been a bit of a time, and you might notice that Mooney has a text box instead of, uh, instead of normal. Uh, poor Mooney has, uh, suffered some, some issues. Her, her headset broke. Mooney is paying attention and can hear us and can see the stream, or the screen share, but, uh, Mooney can't talk. I mean, Mooney could try to talk, but actually, just for amusement's sake, Mooney, try to talk. All right, we saw the face light up and bounce and heard nothing. So whatever oh, noise- Oh, she simply muted herself. Oh, well, yeah, you can you can unmute, attempt to make a noise, and yeah, you you made a bounce. Oh. You, could do, you could do that. It, it made your face light up and bounce. You can do that whenever you update your text. And I don't know. It's it's a thing. It's scuffed, but we're making it work. It's we're been... back, everybody. So hey, guys. Sorry about the chaos. It's fine. We haven't recorded in three weeks, so it's not like we're going to be doing anything particularly well anyway. Uh, we are still doing some grinding, still trying to get people to where they're gonna be. Mooney and Angel still need their final form. Zephyr still needs her final form. I do. And, and Mooney has changed text again. Uh, so we, we could get right back into things at least. Where are we going? Um... Oh, God. Mooney wants to go to Taco Bell. I am craving tacos, but I don't think there are any Taco Bells in, like, feudal Japan wizardry world. <laughs> okay, uh, uh... Yeah, I forgot how far we were. It's been so long. Well, that's okay. We've got the guides. We'll use the guides. We do not... We're only going as far until, like, ooh. No one saw anything. <coughs> Bless you. All right. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We have, like, none of our usual prep. Because we took... Oh, wait, now we do. Okay. Uh, I... Let's see. Uh, it's been a while. Okay, Lamilla is Starlight. And Latumapic is ID Enemy, so we at least have that. Latumapic! Yep. Uh, we still don't have, you know, Laporific, which would be great. Latumapic would be super great, because, you know, poison curing, but... Don't worry about it! Yeah, it's fine. We're not gonna get poisoned this time around. I have to carry half the party back. <laughs> Foreshadowing. All right. So the one thing we can do is we still okay. We could cast Doomapic to see how much we did a, a lot. We were busy. These are busy little adventurers who were stealing everyone else's lunch money. It's not like they were gonna use it. <laughs> they dropped it! <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Am I even on the right? No, I'm not. Uh, I was like, am I even? Am I even on the right floor? And the answer is no, nope, not really. <laughs> okay, so if memory serves, we got to get to another thing. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and cast another Duma pick here.
It's been so long, I've, like, forgotten how to control this game. I've been playing so much. We should totes touch a wall. I mean, that'll, that'll probably inevitably happen. Yeah. Okay, so we have seen the strange man. We have seen the giant tree. We have done the furnace. We have not gone to event D. We have not toggled the gate, I don't think. Unless we did. The toggle. I mean, I am congested, so it is a possibility. Yeah. Okay. This gate is down. That's good. Yay! It means that we haven't busted the game open with sequence breaking. Accidentally. Yep. All right. So now we got to go poggle the gate. God, I'm so used to I'm so used to controlling Labyrinth of Sangetsu right now. Oh yeah, you've been playing that newish one. Oh, lately. oh, it's it's so good. And this is by itself. That is the way back out, but we will go here, and then we go in here. You hear a guttural moan, slowly, oh, carefully, oh no. you step into the gloom. Oh no, I remember this. You come upon a person clad head to toe in a black garment, clutching their enormous stomach while splayed out on the floor. Between the groans, she shouts, it's coming out! She is apparently in so much pain, she does not even notice you. Confronted with such an odd situation, you find yourself having no idea what action to take. Suddenly, with a ripping sound, the woman's clothing splits open, and her screams echo throughout the room. But, more so than the screams, your attention is drawn to the thing that has appeared from the woman's stomach, a bewildering creature of strange proportions. In no way can it be called a human child. This baby insect-like creature lets out a menacing screech and slithers off at a tremendous speed. The creature leaves behind a sticky trail of mucus, but you have not the slightest intention of following it. <laughs> I love the fact. I... Mooney is going nuts on that text box. I love it. <laughs> she is she is more animated with a text box than she is with a microphone. Ba -da -ba. <laughs> and that's H Japan belly burster, everybody. Let's go. Not calling out like that. Oh yeah, isn't this where it's stuffed up at the beginning? Because I rem vaguely recall when we were trying to record, we were at this part and then it's scuffed. Uh, I think because we lost internet connection. Yep. I remember now. Well. We're we're not scuffed anymore. It's great. No, we're not. Mutant bug baby, yes indeed. Yep. Again, it's the ancient Japan belly burster. <coughs> Excuse me. That's you. <coughs> God, I, I, I'm I'm just... allergic to all the animals in the house. Oh no. So it's not the pollen in the air, it's probably the pets. It's the popper, which is sad because I love the popper. I already took my allergy med. <laughs> oh, we finally fight something. Oh, this hey, is going to be a very quick fight. Very mage dead. Orange juice he, is expensive. He's more of a fan of apple juice. <laughs> My apple juice. 
Oh, look, it's open. Oh, look, door. Yep. <laughs> it's so nice that things aren't forked. Because, God. you know, we didn't inspire a bunch of adventurers to come in here and... We didn't inspire a bunch of adventurers to come in here and ruin everything. They borked it all up. Although, to be fair, we did accidentally do a few things wrong that we shouldn't have touched. Alright, so there's a couple of, uh... There's a couple of the, um, card boxes. But we don't have any cards yet, but at least now we know we can come here for the cards. Yeah, we used to have, like, such a nice card stash. We did! We, we had a whole lot of cards! Oh yeah, we, we had cards enough that people thought we were gonna go play Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> Gremlin laughing in the background. <laughs> Mooney was more than ready to send some fools to the Shadow Realm, I understand. Oh, yeah! Searching. You stand between the two mirrors and they cease reflecting your image. Instead, showing a hallway extending infinitely. With some hesitation, you touch the mirror, only to find there is no resistance and that you can pass through to the other side. Oh, what is this? Mickey Mouse's magic mirror? Nothing. Actually, it turns out that it's just a doorway. Oh. All right. I do not remember where it is. We lost! It's fine, don't worry about it. We're, we're lost in this tunnel of fairies and oddly ninjas and assassins. No, that dude on the right is a sonneteer. He's... That dude's gonna sing at us while he tries to stab us. Stab us. Ow. He's gonna attempt uh, I, I don't to. Think he's gonna attempt to, but we're probably not giving him the time of day. Oh, I we're demons. That. We're demons. 666 oh experience God. points. But free concert. Sorry, I think someone put the blade in his windpipe. God, that was dark. It was. Oh, the chest wasn't trapped. Angel takes a dagger, Voss takes a potion. We all get $61. Uh, this room was empty. I found a cookie. <laughs> she found a cookie. Okay. Well, there's an encounter. Tap him with a stick. Damn, that's a, that's a lot of fairy. We're just going to swat them out of the air. I like the fact that the one has, like, dragonfly wings. I think that's a really cool design. Oh, we surprised them, so that's why I can't cast any spells. <laughs> Yeah, 
guess what I've always wondered. Are the fairies to scale, or are they, like, just human size, but with fairy wings? Um... They, the way that it gets clarified in later wizardry games is that fairies are, like, two feet tall. Oh, really? Yes. And that's why most gear doesn't fit them. Gotcha. That's why Mooney used to live in a shoe. <laughs> Look, it is coming. <laughs> <laughs> This is fun. Although, to be fair, you were the one that got yourself stuck in the keyhole. <laughs> no, nobody did. You did that yourself. <laughs> that is entirely on you. I mean, yeah, door unlocked, and then I think it, we sequence broke the game on the way through. Yeah, so, you know, it still... It still caused uh. some friction. <laughs> um, no, just, uh, you know, 23 YouTube videos. <laughs> you know, about 20 hours of entertainment. And, and like three of them was just us lost. <laughs> oh, honey. Oh, honey. <laughs> this, this is oddly fun. <laughs> oh, honey. <laughs> Are, are, are Mooney and Angel gonna have like issues like disagreeing with like what's trapped in the box this time? No, they both say it's a poison needle. Oh, they actually agree on something. It was a poison needle, and now it's not a poison needle. Thank God, because we have no, we have no way to cure poison. Uh... We are straight up fucked if we do. Toggles teleporter A, and then, okay, so I thought that was going to be a teleporter. It is not. We actually have a stupendously long walk ahead of us, I think. Walking down the corridors. Bet, 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 bet. What the fuck is that? It's Kieran. I knocked it unconscious, and then Shuri chopped it with an axe. No, it's it dead. It's fine. It, 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 it's the cryptid that haunts our dreams in the middle of the night. They agree that it's a bomb. Mooney couldn't disarm it. Angel could. We got a staff and some armor and some monies. Moody and Angel are going to have such friction. All <laughs> right, this door is a one-way door back to the uh, Hall of Mirrors, so we're not taking it. Yay, one-way doors. Yeah, it's, it's kind of great that they have all of these different designs for the fairy wings. Always really pretty. Wow, one of us just took 22 damage. Good lord. 
Yeah, <laughs> Voss just talk got. Nice Voss easy. just got wrecked. I was gonna ask who did, and then yeah, you answered the question. Thank you. And the other very bard's just like, oh god, and runs away. Fail, fail. I both agree it's poison gas. Cool, we did it. It's so poisonous. I don't want to get poisoned again. Wait, I don't want to get like. Wait, there was an amulet. In there? Wait, what? That's unusual. What was that? The key? Is that a key item amulet? Is the N question. No. A coat okay, of yeah, arms is carved in the relief on the wall of this bright and sunny room. And a tapestry of vivid colors is draped across the southern wall. A carpet of deep scarlet stretches straight toward the center of the room, stopping at an extravagant throne. Isn't this the room where we realize we fu we done fucked up? In front of the throne stands an extremely short old man, and a young girl, even shorter, stands next to him. You suspect they are related, not by their faces, but by the wings on their back. As you draw closer, the old man raises his head and directs a warm gaze toward you. Friendly? I am Genwo, the elder of this tower and the guardian of the light. Do you know of the Lord Vessel? You're after that as well, then. Very well. This is the key to the altar, but remember this well. To carry the three Lord Vessels from their towers is to invite the Decay of Civilization. Found key! Oh, Decay of Civilization. Did we not go through that in the last timeline? <laughs> okay. I'm actually reading help. the guide right now. Genwo, the Guardian of the Tower, is surprisingly helpful. Sure, he'll say some nonsense about how removing the Lord Vessels will destroy society or whatever, but he'll also just hand over the key to the altar without a fight. What an easy dungeon. We didn't even have to go to the basement at all. You can use the key to open the gate behind him. In the shrine on the other side, you'll find the Lord Vessel on a pedestal. Just Hold examine it phone. to pick it up, and we should be done with the Tower of Witchcraft. The next we line... We didn't have to go into the basement! Let me finish. Just examine it to pick it up, and we should be done with the Tower of Witchcraft. The very next line, chapter 2.4, we're not done with the Tower of Witchcraft. Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to screech like that. <laughs> screech more, it's funny. I don't think it's funny to the YouTube to the YouTube community. I don't know. They they do tend to take take some pretty <coughs> keen amusement in things. Hmm. Some sort of holy force seems to flow from the altar in front of you. A glowing azure sphere is on top of a marble altar encrusted with gems. <laughs> Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> the sphere does not seem to be touching the altar. The mechanic by which the sphere is floating and giving off light eludes you. Stranger still, the mantle is captured inside the sphere, hanging there silently. Arceus, is this you? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm on a Pokemon kick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm done. Oh, God. All right, so let's just, uh, when you stick your hand into the sphere, the mantle disappears as if it were sucked into the altar. Okay. For now, there's nothing else we can do here. Head back to the ground floor, make a pit stop in town to sell junk and heal up, and then get ready to head down to the other half of the tower. Oh, I see. Yeah, we're we're not even remotely done, so hey. It, it, it was basically a red herring is what that was. It was, it, we, we was lied to. But it's okay, we can clear out a little more of the dungeon while we're at it. It, it was fishy. It was fish. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, we got teleported. Uh oh. Love teleportation pads, and I swear it's not my fault. <laughs> what? It wasn't my fault! We've got a king fox, we've got three cat girls, and we've got four Yamawa Yamawarashi. Yeah, maybe I did. I break the fourth wall on several occasions. I'm glad there's a bunch of shadows because uh, I don't think that cat girl is wearing clothes. Oh. Fine, we took care of the naked cat girls. Get his robe of the fire rat. Poison gas. Angel also says poison gas. <laughs> oh man. Moon is even making if you know you know jokes. We're having, a, we're having a time. Mooney is having a grand old time with this. We can imagine it in our minds. Oh yeah, all the all the gremlin cackling in the background is all I can imagine right now. All right, we got surprised. Oh, no. That's a paralysis. I don't think we have an anti-paralysis. Oh. <laughs> it's a level three. Oh, wait, maybe we do. Maybe we do. If... Okay, so if... Um... No, nah, it's, it's fine. It's fine. We just got to win this fight first. Yeah, we just need to get in, get this fight done and it's pray fine. that we have don't something with don't it. Don't even you don't even worry about it. I'm sorry, I have a trauma spiral with what happened three times in a, in three episodes. Oh, Vox went insane. Uh-oh. Oh my goodness, just died a lot of you. Zephyr got hit again. Wait. Everybody's taking dead damage. Voss is no longer insane. Mooney's insane. Uh oh. Didn't Mooney kill me last time? Accidentally? Accidentally. She, to be fair, yes, she wasn't saying at the time, so she accidentally killed me. All right, so uh, we still have four enemies, but uh, the cool part is, is that three of them are asleep because Kate Korea is a sleep spell that affects the entire combat. Ooh, punching bags. If no one misses. Oh, how you miss a sleeping target is beyond me. 
I don't know, Zephyr, how did you miss that sleeping target? <laughs> Why do I bring this stuff on myself? How uh, he was right in front of Zephyr, asleep no less. I don't know how you missed the sword. I don't. I, I don't have any excuses. <laughs> Staffs aren't my forte, so I probably slipped a little bit. All right, so. Do you have Dialco? You do. Fantastic. Angel is no longer paralyzed. I nearly did. Please heal the squishy. Good thing we're making our way back to town. Very, very slowly. Very, very, very slowly. Very slowly. Welcome to the worst pathway in Wizardry Guide 4. Welcome to Wizardry Guide 4. It's the walking simulator. Kidding. I, always, I I feel bad killing this design of the fairy bard. She's... I know. She looks like someone you'd see in like a party or something. She's someone I'd like to see in my party. I mean, Ao. This is so Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> we are not sponsored by Wendy's, but we could be. Call me. Okay, you know what? I'm about to. I'm a, I'm about to. I'm about to actually give like a real spicy take here. Between oh, Wendy's, boy. Burger King, and McDonald's, Wendy's has the best burgers. I'm just gonna say it now. But Fair here's enough. where here's where I'm gonna make the other spicy take. Burger King has the best fries. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna say it now. If you get good Burger King fries, they are like they are a gift from God. They are thick and they are fluffy and delicious. Yes, yes, precisely that. Well, you're a salty being. You That's probably why you like him. You need something to refresh your stores. Wendy's has good uh, uh, Frosties, though. I don't know what it is about them, but they're fucking delicious. Well, it's the fact that Wendy's actually takes the time to do, like... Okay, here's, here's a secret from a dude in the know. Okay. Uh... Yeah, McDonald's will constantly say their ice cream machine is broken. It's not broken. They just haven't cleaned it in a while, and they don't want to. What? Yeah. Like, 
Unless you know your McDonald's is good about it, don't ever go to McDonald's for ice cream. Oh, cool. They no, gave us their, this. their Sorry, lunch money. They gave us their lunch money without us having to, like, do... Oh, God. Where the hell am I? Oh, here. We're, we're, we're having a road trip conversation about restaurants. <laughs> or fast food joints. Rather. We're not lost. We made it home. Oh, hey, look at that. We're home. Oh, look at that. We're home. Oh, my God. Yeah, God. My voice literally cracked. All right, so let's let's do. We're gonna we're gonna go here and we're gonna do some inspecting first because I want to see how much money money we actually have. Do we have money enough money. to actually? We do, we do. That's like eight. We're gonna we're gonna. Spoil Can we ourselves. actually sleep properly in a bed? We're gonna actually get to sleep in a bed. But we're gonna save a bunch of times before we do it, just in case because of leveling. Oh yeah. The upgrade inflections. <laughs> One second. Okay. All right. Did we save? Yes. Let us sleep in the economy rooms. Get our health back. One day we will be able to oh, sleep Oh, never in the mind. I again. didn't need to worry about saving beforehand. Look at how much XP I need. Womp womp. Good lord. Aren't you a lord by this point? No. I think I can become a lord, but I'm not yet. And we'll save here. I don't know if Shuri levels at this point, but we're going to find out. Nope. She got to sleep. Boss is gonna be expensive to heal. He hurt a lot. He is hurt a lot. He was down to like 22 hit points. He's I mean, he's also ex an expensive man, so. Yep, he's having a spa day. He didn't even level from it, Jesus Christ. Oh god, I'd kill for a spa day. Yeah, that's the mood. Nope, Mooney needs 21,000 XP to level up, so... Sheesh, Mooney! <laughs> Can you just steal the... Steal <laughs> experience points? I mean, technically, yeah, we we are stealing experience points. At, at, at Katana Point. Don't worry about it. Zephyr needs 23,000 XP to level up. Alright, nobody's even remotely close to... <laughs> Mooney is Mooney is having such a time. No level ups? No level ups. We're like between seven and thirty two thousand XP away. Alright, so the next course of action is item identification. So who identification. did not pick up oh you, okay, uh we'll give the dagger to me. And then Angel's going to go do the bard thing. And we're going to add, we're going to add Cadence, because Cadence is going to come identify stuff after we sneak off. We got to sneak out of town so Cadence can do, you know, her evil, oh God, identifying things with magic. It's so bad and foreign and taboo. Oh yeah, I remember we had that Were Slayer that we were holding on to just in case.
We know Mooney's serious about her statement because she went to a fancy font for it. Fancy font. Boy, I hope Zephyr didn't actually have anything. Nope, she sure did. Okay, time to... Time to start identification uh, process. Did we yeah, say sorry. Dagger of Slicing? Ooh. For Is it cursed? No. <laughs> I know the Dagger of Slicing. The Dagger of Slicing is just a dagger that deals more damage and makes you faster. You literally get an extra swing each each combat with this thing. Um This is this is a hell of a find. That's fantastic. Okay. Elven Chainmail. Oh, do I actually get to wear that this time? You do. Yeah, because I actually have to have a good, good alignment. We have two sets reason. of Elven Chainmail. And I'm the only elf here. Yeah, we're, you're going to wear one. We're going to sell the other. That's fine. The Rod of Flames. Oh, didn't we learn that the rod like breaks in three in three uses? Yeah, but Mooney wants it, so Mooney can have it. I don't see why not. <laughs> Mooney want <laughs> potion of Dialco. That's an anti paralysis. That's great. A fairy rod, whatever. Now this is the one right here. This amulet. This is where I'm excited. Oh no! You touched it. Amulet of Air? I don't know what that does, but I'm excited. Regular ass boots. And a scroll of Mapoba. Uh reference Mapoba is. Holy hell, what is Mapoba? Oh, it's a haste spell. Oh, that's that's really good. Sorry. Mooney brought up Sonic the Hedgehog. Here you go, Zephyr. You can also have the Amulet of Air. Woo! I think that we're actually going to hold on to the Dagger of Slicing. Studded staff. Why can't you use the elven chain? Also, the amulet of air is instead of a shadow cape, so we're gonna save real quick and make sure that it's. Wait, it's better than the shadow cape? I don't know. The Amulet of Air, I bet you the Amulet of Air is an on-use item. Mm, probably. For being Amulet of Air, it'd probably be an actual use item. We'll find out shortly. Oh. Uh, you can't use the Elven Chain because you're an alchemist. If we get you to your final form of being a bishop, you can. Right. Because bishops can... Because if we level you as a bishop, you start learning both priest and mage spells, but you would also keep your alchemist spells, so you would have much, much in the way of spell. All right, so we'll just we'll just dump that with our uh, pack mule and move on. Ooh, a two-handed axe? 
For Valkyrie? I think so. I think so. The Headhunter. I think the that's head cursed. Hunter? I think that's that sounds that's, cursed. That sounds cursed. But Shuri's gonna get a big old axe, and Voss is gonna get a headhunter, and then we'll give this back to Zephyr, who will keep it, even though she can't use it, and then we're gonna go to Equip. Great axe, plate mail steel helm. Cause we're gonna give Shuri a heavier axe. We gonna go to Taco Bell. I mean, yeah, we could go to Taco Bell after this. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta sell some stuff first. Mm -hmm. And then we're just gonna save here, just in case, you know. Uh, we do yep. eat. Headhunter right. is cursed. Headhunter is cursed. Surprising precisely no one. Cadence is gonna chill. We're gonna get Zephyr, or we're gonna get Angel back. We're gonna go to the top, or the shop. We're gonna sell a bunch of garbage. Sell him a cursed object. He'll want to sell us right back later. Five thousand gold for that elven chain. Oh uh, yeah. I mean, elven make is usually really expensive, anyways. Yep. Yeah, it's like anything with a name like that. It's usually gonna come uh, come off as cursed. That ain't no fancy title. It's so, just cursed. Just to, uh, just out of curiosity. Mm. Just imbued with dark magics. How much would he give us for the Rod of Flame? Not that much. I'm okay with Moon and so, it's a, so it's a 1k thing. Out of curiosity. So he's so, okay. It's also very expensive. And then, okay. Alright, so there's one thing we're gonna do before we close this episode, aside from evenly divvying the money. We actually made enough money that we more than paid for our in stays. Because until, uh, until we get to the second town, we're going to make more money than we can feasibly spend, which is fine. But we're going to try a thing, and we're going to save before we do it. We're going to go to the training grounds. We're going to enter the labyrinth. Huh. It's not a use item. It's not a use item, because it did nothing. That's curious. Well, I'll do a little bit of research in between episodes, because that's gotta be, that's gotta be something. You cannot tell me that it's not something super neato. Hey, did I save? Did you save? Did I save? Mooney, did I save? Maybe she went to go get Taco Bell. Maybe she did go get Taco Bell. Now I seriously want tacos. Do I have money for tacos? I know I get paid by Twitch tomorrow. Anyways, thank y'all. <laughs> thank y'all for watching. <laughs> Don't forget to do all that other stuff that all the other YouTubers tell you to do, and uh, we'll see you next game. Bye, everyone. Bye.